All right, hello everybody. Um, so today we are going to be talking about cross sections. So um, as you might remember, sigma is known as a cross section. Um, and it is measured uh, in units, uh, the kind of funny unit uh, of barns. Uh, or sometimes abbreviated just B. So um, the reason for this is uh, certain, uh, certain uh, is kind of a joke that you could hit the broad side of a barn with, cer uh, uh, with neutron certain neutrons at various energies. Um, and one barn, so it's a unit of area because it's a cross section. So one barn equals um, 10, to the negative 24 centimeters uh, squared. Okay, so that's what a unit of so it's a unit of area, and um, uh, basically every different type of neutron interaction has its own cross section denoted by a subscript. So um, you know, for example. Um, we'll just go through the ones that we covered in last last lecture. So, sigma sub e um, is elastic scattering, okay, and then sigma sub i is inelastic scattering. Um, sigma sub gamma is uh, the capture cross section. So that's when, um, uh, remember when a neutron is absorbed and a gamma is emitted. Um, sigma sub alpha is alpha generation, alpha emission, and then um, uh, sigma sub f is the fission cross section. Okay, so that's what those look like. Um, and additionally, these are all rolled up into other aggregate cross sections. So, uh, for example, we'll have the total uh, cross section. Um, okay, so the total cross section. Um, this is denoted as sigma sub t, um, it, and it's the sum of all possible interactions. Okay, um, and so if we wanted to look at this, we would say, uh, oops, <laughs> sigma sub t is equal to sigma sub i plus sigma sub e plus sigma sub f plus uh, uh, dot dot dot. Okay, so that's what the uh, total cross section is. Um, uh, the absorption. Absorption cross section. Um, this is denoted as uh, sigma sub a, and this is the sum of all cross sections that don't emit a neutron. Uh, uh, or don't emit a single neutron, sorry. So basically not scattering. <laughs> so um, you might say sigma sub a is equal to sigma sub gamma plus sigma sub the fission cross section plus 
out the alpha cross section uh, plus um, you know things like that emit multiple neutrons like n and two n reactions etc. Okay. Um, and uh, additionally, there is the scattering cross section, which um, is just defined as, oops, uh, or is denoted, sorry, as sigma sub s. Um, and this is just the scattering reactions, of which there are only two. So you can say sigma sub s is equal to sigma sub uh, plus of the elastic scattering plus the inelastic scattering. Okay, sigma sub e plus sigma sub i. And sort of because of this, um, by definition, uh, what we have is that the total cross section sig sigma sub t is equal to uh, the scattering cross section sigma sub s plus the absorption cross section. Okay, it's uh, an important relationship to understand. Um, so now what we have, okay, so those are the different types of cross sections and how we talk about them. Um, but there's an important thing to remember. So, um, or to to concept that we haven't covered yet. So this is that microscopic cross-section, micros there's a difference between microscopic and macroscopic uh, cross-sections. Um, so a microscopic cross-section is really a representation um, of the uh, cross-section for like a single neutron interacting with a single atom, so or a single nucleus. So that's what sigma is. So sigma is microscopic. Um, and uh, yeah, so it is an area representing interactions uh, from individual neutrons with individual uh, nuclei. Okay? Um, uh, e and that's true even though we derived it from a bulk material. Okay? Um, however, we can define a macroscopic cross-section. Okay, so define a macroscopic scopic cross section um, and here we use uppercase sigma to represent these so sigma um, as uh, the following so uh, so I'll say uh, um, so this is where you include the material. So you say the macroscopic cross-section is actually equal to the number density of the material, n, times the microscopic cross-section. Um, so if you want to fold this out, the number density is, if you want to do this in terms of mass units, you can say that this is um, Avogadro's number. Um, times the mass density rho uh, in grams per centimeter squared divided by uh, the atomic mass units, AMU of the material, and then uh, times sigma itself. So that's our macroscopic cross-section. So one of the things that um, this allows us to do is we can transition between, um, or one of the interesting things about nuclear engineering is that it's really about that transition between the microscopic world and the macroscopic one. Um, uh, so uh, sigma has uh, particular units, and so um, oops, <laughs> um, 
uh, so that are different than the uh, other, uh, the microscopic cross-section. So the macroscopic one is different than the microscopic. So sigma, um, it's not measured in Barnes, but rather um, because you have centimeters squared divided by, uh, or the number density is uh, one over centimeters cubed, and the microscopic cross-section is centimeters squared. So uh, this has units, or the macroscopic cross-section thus has units of just one over centimeters. Okay. Um, and importantly, uh, it represents the linear interaction probability. Um, and because of this, and so I'll put this in bold. Uh, and is sensitive to density changes. Right, so if your material is less dense, then you're going to interact less. So your your macroscopic, if your material is less dense, your macroscopic cross section is going to go down and is different. But, and then, but your microscopic cross section doesn't care about the density of the material. Um, um, and so we can define something called a collision density. So let's do that. So um, let's say oops, that F has units of neutrons per um, uh, centimeters cubed per second. Um, then we can define F uh, as equal to the intensity times uh, or the current times uh, our macroscopic cross section. Okay. All right. So that's pretty good. Um, uh, yeah. All right. So um, moving right along. Um, we can talk about um, uh, neutron attenuation. So um, just to start out here, so imagine that you've got like a block of material. Um, so let's turn attenuation. This is important. Um, imagine you've got a block of material. Um, and it's not just a thin foil anymore. Where did my stylus go? Ah, here it is. <laughs> okay. Um, so we've got a block of material. Uh, should learn by now. Uh, do and um, uh, um, so we've got this block of material, and there's some uh, region dx, right? So a block of material you can think of as just a bunch of foils put together, and so we've got uh, um, neutrons coming into this with some intensity uh, i, and they leave with some other intensity. Um, and uh, uh, this down here is our thickness dx. So we've just got a block of materials. So going back to the uh, R that we defined last time, so the reaction rate um, that we had, we can say that, um, right, so from the last lecture, we'll recall that R 
equals I sub zero minus I sub one, right? So the intensity is on the different sides um, uh, times the area, which is equal to I times uh, the number density of the material times the area times uh, uh, dx. Um, okay? Uh, times the uh, microscopic cross section. And in particular, we care about any interaction, so this is the total cross section that we care about. Okay? Um, and so what we're going to do <laughs> in, instead, so, um, so that's what we had. Now, um, I, sub, I not minus I1, we can express as a minus dx, minus d i, I of x. And this intensity on this side will express as I of x. Okay? Um, and notice that the areas cancel again. Right, so, um, so we'll say that um, minus di of x, right, since this is a difference, e equals um, uh, e equals i of x. We're going to do this substitution. So at some point in the block, um, this is what our i is, um, and uh, i of x. Uh, n times sigma of t uh, times dx. So I've rearranged that slightly. Okay. Uh, all right. So that is should look pretty familiar. Now um, n times sigma of t, right? Well, that's just this macroscopic cross section that we defined. So um, let me copy that. So, uh, so if we look at this, oops, then we have this is just uh, the macroscopic cross section times i of t. Okay, or set time the macroscopic cross section. Oops, and. Uh, I lost a negative sign, so that's dangerous. Won't get very far in life doing uh, doing that, right? Um, <laughs> all right, so uh, let's rearrange both sides to have all the x's and dx's on one side and the, all the i of x's and uh, di of x's on the other, right? So this is a nice little differential equation that we can solve. Um, and so uh, if we do that, we can say, uh, oops, di of x over i of x equals negative capital uppercase sigma t uh, dx. Okay? Um, and at this point, this should look very familiar. So you should know what the result of what the solution to this is, right? So like this is an ordinary different first order ordinary differential equation. You should be able to look at this and say, aha, I know this is a negative exponential. But for due diligence, um, we are going to go ahead and go through the motions. And so um, if we go ahead and integrate both sides uh, from uh, x equal to 0 to the thickness x, uh, the full thickness x, and from i naught to some distance x, then we get um, the following expression, right? So on the left-hand side, uh, di of x over i of x is just the natural log of x. So if we say f dot, and then so this is natural log of i say natural log of i of x um, uh, evaluated um, at uh, uh, from i0 
i0 up to, I'm being a little sloppy here, up to i of x. Um, and that is equal to, um, uh, on the right hand side, negative sigma t dx, and the integral of that um, is uh, from 0 to t is equal to sigma uh, sigma t, the total, total macroscopic cross section times uh, the thickness x uh, minus, uh, minus sigma t times 0, so that's 0. And it evaluates to nothing. Oops, that should be a markdown cell. Sorry. <laughs> and so if we go ahead and do this, what we'll uh, get um, is um, right. So we should get the natural log. Uh, natural log of i of x minus um, the uh, natural log of uh, i i not um, equals negative sigma t times x, right? Um, and then if we rearrange this and take the exponential, um, we can see uh, that, uh, right, so the solution that we should come up with is that uh, i of x equals i naught um, uh, e to the negative uh, sigma, to, nega sigma t total cross section times x and voila. So um, inside of this block you have an exponential decay. Uh, so the farther you go in the block the less of these things that you have subject to the, the total macroscopic cross section of the material. Um, so yeah, that's uh, intro to new neutron attenuation for you. And uh, I think that's about it for this lecture. So have a good day and see you next time.